what's up yens guys time for another video in this video I'm gonna take you back a little bit here to the early days of YouTube where uh, the amazing atheist and these uh, other fanatical Christians some of them outright dipshits and ones that think everything like yoga or anything martial arts like or yoga like was satanic and there was an era I still laugh about this. I'm not dwelling on the past, but I got to say this as an example and bring it back up because for a point. Because, uh, yeah, I watched a lot of YouTubers that talked about the Nephilim, too, a lot of uh, things like that. Anyway, remember back in the early days of YouTube, you had like uh, the amazing atheist, that uh, crazy luth uh, lunatic crazy lunatic fake Sagan and all that I'm some of you people that know me already and we talked privately on the shadows with all that shit out in the rage no damn what I'm talking about but there was a time where okay I'm gonna get it out I'm trying not to laugh because it makes me laugh the whole uh, bunch of hoopla going on when remember when Pat Robertson that clip uh, showed up it went viral everybody talking about it of course all the Atheist grifters and all the crazy atheist grifters and all the crazy Christian grifters jumped on that shit when Pat Robertson said, oh yeah, martial arts is demonic. And also he talked about the, uh, the uh, that major earthquake and all that stuff. And I will tell you one thing that in a lot of other subject matter talking in parentheses and a good point in this too, I will say. Um, whether it's religious or any kind of political news media, by simply editing something, even though somebody made a quote and not denying they said things, can you actually literally change the belief in something too, but make things go viral. But that's other subject matter that's in my head. But anyway, when he said that, okay, are martial arts demonic? That was one of the things that yeah, people who had some hoopla about. I say yes and no. Okay, and I remember uh, he said about Chuck Norris. I think, yeah, Chuck Norris is a heck of a nice guy. He sustained Chuck Norris and Chuck Norris doing all the good things. But we must not forget, you look at all these things about Nephilim and the books of Enoch, uh, the people were taught to make swords and martial arts and death blows. Yes, it re really... Originally, you can argue that in the beginning, yes, demonic, but all of it demonic in this day and age? No. I mean, you had good people. I mean, uh, Chuck Norris was brought up, and yeah, you you got good people out there. Uh, but, yeah, what makes me uh, think about all this and I look back on all that is... Uh, if you look at all these YouTube videos about what the Nephilim brought in and the kind of person that I am that I talk about other subjects not that I'm a Bible thumper I read about the Nephilim way before YouTube showed up or this internet thing showed up matter of fact America online AOL old dial up was still around and I never jumped on the bandwagon or even old owned a computer I'm not sticks ham, hex ha, and hammer six. I, I'm not sticks hex and hammer six six six. That YouTuber, say his name again, sticks hex and hammer six six six. Not the amazing atheist. I wasn't any of these Christian gr grifters that you see on YouTube or the atheist grifters. I started discovering them once my. I was. I'm from that was from the warehouse working world. Who was in Western. In Western Pennsylvania, who uh, reveled in the idea of uh, not having a haircut, but uh, being in Western Pennsylvania and getting a job above minimum wage, and walked into a restaurant like I was the Million Dollar Man. And then I remember during those early days of YouTube being a, a real bitter motherfucker when, like it what happens in jobs in Western Pennsylvania, like they happen. You're up, then you're down, pow, you know, you're living uh, on maybe partial food stamps and unemployment with the states get you working partially. That's the world I come from. The reason why I say that is 
not this YouTube self-righteous dream world, which everybody has, uh, you know, their shit that they're saying, some good and some bad, a lot very entertaining, uh, everything, you know, uh, I figure I'll throw that in there. I mean, just, uh, just so you know. Yeah, is it still demonic? Uh, is it still demonic now? Hell yes. Yeah, in the hands of uh, bullies of many races, in the hands of uh, corrupt ex-military uh, who said special forces who became mercs uh, and and since they become mercs, some of whom worked for uh, uh, very uh, murderous uh, scumbags that uh, taken over whole countries, uh, criminal enterprises, because they, uh, when you're out of the military and can't find a job, some of them go the corrupt way. Nothing against our our uh, good people who are veterans which the Rainbow Mafia uh, persecutes the hell out of, and which our government doesn't give a damn. That's, you know, so totally separate. Totally separate. And I'm saying that being a fan of the YouTuber Odin's men, who they who told many truths, who was a military man who got uh, deleted from YouTube, but he's on other channels. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, you got to watch your... You talk about some certain military without specifying, you can get your ass in a sling, but, and, uh, yeah, you can, in those terms, and in the terms of, uh, when the world, before the flood, and even after the flood, you know, uh, you want to talk about, uh, when the Nephilim came along, taught to make swords and all that stuff charms, spells, and uh, death blows or whatever you call it, and you pretty much uh, say in martial arts to make war on each other and, and all that uh, stuff that you could go on about. And plus there were evil animal, part animal, part human, and part human and part uh, spirit or angel hybrids running around and you want to throw in there uh if you watch anime if you believed in a nephilim and the fallen angels i always say jokingly in my to myself in maybe uh the samurai sword uh wielding countries uh you almost want to jokingly say, yeah, were there, uh, like in the anime Inuyasha, maybe in those days of the Nephilim, what if there was uh, beings kind of like Lord Shishomaru running around and all kind of demonic, magical creatures and things running around during them days? You know, and some people say, the church-going Bible thumpers would say, oh, that anime is evil, you know. There's some of it has some real taboo stuff, and there's some stuff that makes you think, you know what I mean? Uh, and there you go there, you know, I can go on. Okay, and lately I've been just pausing this video and just making other little videos, like pausing it and talking again, and then I just render it together because, yes, I, I know my talks are all over the place, and they'll get really long, and people say, oh, organize your thoughts, but yeah, throw in one more thing here to top this all off too about uh what a lot of us believe that is relevant to everything i said that i was kind of all over the place with uh any group i don't care if it was like genghis khan all these uh chinese warlords you can look at all the documentaries about them on youtube that had leaders is that had all this power over all these armies. Uh, no matter what religion that you believe or want to believe, unlike the historically correct slash science that the people, you know, I mean, that will talk about the historically correct, but they're secular in their beliefs, right? I don't care what they say. If you have some kind of beliefs about you that you want to believe without evangelizing, those people did not get that power as far as leadership to get shitloads of people to listen to them and to murder all kind of people and go to war 
without giving themselves over to somebody or something, worshiping somebody or something in an effigy and any different forms, no matter like who it is. You want to talk about the tyrants of the Bible, some of the secular scientists and historically people and the give you your public school, tell you your public school how to believe stuff. Oh, come on. You got to understand uh, people like you or me, if we wanted to, yeah, they'd laugh, they'd, we'd be laughed at. Do you try to be a lead to get to uh, get a whole bunch of people that you're going to be that leader? I mean, there are people that run for presidents and prime ministers or whatever the hell you have you in countries or or, or just like now or just like back then got their political or power of being a king or a ruler by usurping the power by murdering the previous leader uh, which has been going on for centuries but but to get a shitload of people to listen to way back then no did they have any kind of charismatic charisma or charismaticness or whatever you call it or charisma on their own no it was given to them they gave their self over to something or somebody or something to give them that power uh, yeah and if you want to be a Bible thumping Christian and believe and want to believe that hell yeah you don't get you don't get that power for nothing. Same as anybody else of uh, this day and age. You see what's going on in all these countries now? Uh, I think that relates. So uh, you can draw any other conclusion of what I'm saying on your own, but... Uh, and if you really did want to read Enoch and take into consideration about the Nephilim uh, and know that all these even in biblical times or pre-medieval times or medieval times or even further back uh, all these uh, tyrants that I tell you about whom I said well yeah they got their power by giving it over to somebody or something right and of course it is said in Enoch, if you want to believe what is read, that eventually these ones were uh, doing battle by killing each other. Well, yet even when they existed later in evil spirits, they went and killed each other. They're, they were being worshipped as gods separately. And they were uh, doing battle you know, with their own empires, each one of these Nephilim existing later as evil spirits, you know, in their return. I'm giving you a ballpark from memory. Uh, if you want to entertain that idea that, uh, say, before the flood, you know, the giants all over the place, then they come, however you want to believe it, then they were come back in evil spirits. And if that is true, right, they come back as evil spirits. And just as they killed each other, you know, when they were actual physical giants and they're back and there's, they said they're running around even today as evil spirits and influencing and shapeshifters. Well, yes, the each from then and now worshiping, they're coming and being worshiped as gods in some form. And those humans who worship them and get their power doing battle and maybe in the apocalypse or uh, doing that as well you know when all that shit goes down I mean I'm giving you this in a nutshell ballpark uh, thing here from memory without uh, rambling in a like uh, two hour long video but 